What if I told you your website could rank number one on Google without paying a single rupee for ads? Yep, that's the power of SEO. And today, I am going to break down everything you need to know from on-page SEO, off-page SEO, and technical SEO. To tools, strategies, and real-world examples you can implement right now. So grab a notepad because this video might just change your online game. Let's go. Welcome to my channel where we simplify digital marketing to help you grow your business, your brand, and your impact. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that you get the notification when I release my next video. Now, what is SEO? SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. It's the art and science of getting your website to appear higher in search engine results pages, which is called SERPs. There are three pillars of SEO. On-page SEO, which is optimizing the content on your website. Off-page SEO, which is building authority through backlinking. And technical SEO, which ensures search engine can crawl and index your site. Now, what crawling is in SEO? Crawling is the process where search engine bots, also known as spiders and crawlers, can scan your website's content and structure. Think of it like this. These bots move from one web page to another by following links. When crawler visits your websites, it reads the content, the text, image, and videos, the meta tags, which are your descriptions and titles, and internal links and structure, basically sitemaps and the robots.txt files. Now the tools used for crawlings are Google Bot, which is Google's own crawler, a Binge Bot, which is Binge's own crawler, and Screaming Frog SEOs, which is basically, it helps you make your own audit easy. When Google Bot crawls your website, it finds new or updated pages and decides whether to process them for indexing. Now, what is indexing in SEO? Indexing is the next step after crawling. It's the process where search engine stores and organize the content they've crawled. So it can be shown in search results. Think of it like this. When a page is indexed, it becomes eligible to appear in search results for relevant queries. If your page isn't indexed, it won't be visible in any of the Google search, no matter how good your content is. Now, Google's index is like massive digital library. If your page is in that library, people can find it through search. Now, there is a quick summary which I want to quickly cover up. Now, term, meaning, and purpose of crawling is basically discovering and scanning your web content and to know what pages exist, indexing, storing, and organizing content is in Google's database to show your content in search results. Now, one of the tips which I want to talk about here is submit your sitemap to Google Search Control to help bot crawl and index faster. Make sure important pages aren't blocked in your robots.txt file. Use non-index tags only and pages you don't want in search results. And check your indexing status in Google Search Console coverage report. Drop a comment below, have you tried SEO before? What's your biggest challenge? And let's discuss on that. Let's talk about on-page SEO and let's deep dive into this particular terminology. Now, key elements in on-page SEO is title tag optimization. Title tag optimization in SEO refers to the process of crafting an effective and keyword-rich title for a web page that helps both search engines and users understand the content of the page. Next is meta description. A meta description in SEO is a short summary, usually 150 to 160 characters, that appears below your page title in search engine results. It helps users understand what your page is about and can influence their decision to click. URL structure is next. 
URL structure in SEO refers to how a web page address is organized to be readable by both users and search engine. A clean, keyword rich, and simple URL improves indexing, user experience, and click through rate. Header tags. Header tags in SEO are HTML elements used to structure content hierarchically on a web page. They help search engines understand the importance and context of your content. With H1 being the main title, H2 to H6 used for subheading and subtopics. Next is keyword placement and density. Now, keyword placement and density in SEO refers to strategically positioning your target keywords in key areas like the title, headings, URL, and first 100 words of your content while maintaining a natural flow. Now, keyword density is the percentage of times a keyword appears in the content, ideally kept between 1 to 2% to avoid over optimization or overcrowding of keyword stuffing. Next is image alternative text. Image alt text is a brief description added to an image. And it is basically an HTML code that helps search engine understands that the image content is available. It also improves accessibility for visually impaired users and boosts SEO by allowing images to appear in search results. Next is internal links. Internal links in SEO refers to the practice of linking one page of your website to another page within the same domain. It helps search engine crawl your website better and boost page authority by distributing link equity across your content. Next is content quality and length. Now, content quality and length in SEO refers to how valuable, informative, and engaging your content is for users and how thoroughly it covers the topic. Longer, high quality content tends to rank better because it provides in-depth answers that satisfies search intent. Next is mobile responsiveness. Mobile responsiveness in SEO means that website automatically adjusts its layout and content to fit all screen size, especially smartphones and tablets. It enhances user experiences and is a key ranking factor in Google's mobile first indexing. Actionable steps which you can take today is use keywords naturally. Avoid stuffing. Use H1 for titles only and H2 to H6 for hierarchy. Keep your URL clean and easily searchable. What's your favorite SEO plugin in, in your overall workflow? Yoast, Rank Math, Type your answer below and let's discuss on that. Let's look at off-page SEO. Off-page SEO builds authority. High quality backlinks in SEO are links from reputable, authoritative and relevant websites that points your website in return. They signal trust and credibility to search engines help improving your search ranking significantly. Guest posting in SEO is another thing and another practice of writing and publishing articles on another website or blog in your niche to build high quality backlinks and increase your website's authority and visibility on search engines. It helps drive referral traffic and strengthens your off-page SEO strategy. Digital PR. Digital PR in SEO is a strategy that involves building high quality backlinks and online mentions through media coverage, influencer collaboration, and content placement on authoritative website. It boosts brand visibility, domain authority, and search engine ranking. Brand mentions. Brand mentions in SEO refer to instances where your brand name is mentioned online without a clickable backlink. Search engine still recognizes these mentions as signal of brand authority and relevance, which can positively impact your SEO. Influencer collaboration. Influencer collaboration in SEO refers to partnering with influential individual in your niche to create content or promote your brand, which often results in high quality backlink and increases brand visibility. Now, these collaboration enhances your site's authority and drive organic traffic from a trusted audiences. Social media signals. Social media signals in SEO refers to the likes, shares, comments, and overall engagement your content receives on social media platforms. These signals indirectly influences your search ranking by increasing content, 
visibility, traffic and brand authority. Now, next actionable step is reach out to industry blogs for guest posts, get listed in online directories, monitor brands, mention using tools like Google Alerts and Brand24. Now, do social share helps SEO? Not directly, but indirectly through increased visibility. What's your biggest struggle with link building? Drop it below. Now, let's look at technical SEO. This is the backbone of your website's SEO. Now, key areas which you want to look at is site speed optimization. Site speed optimization in SEO refers to improving how quickly your pages load and responds to user. Faster loading sites enhances user experience and are favored by search engines, helping improve your ranking in search results. Mobile friendliness. Mobile friendliness in SEO refers to how well a website performs and displays on mobile devices like smartphone and tablets. Google prioritizes mobile friendliness sites in search ranking because most users access the web through mobile devices. Crawlability. Crawlability in SEO refers to how easily search engine bots can access and navigate your website's content. The robot.txt file guides the bots by allowing or restricting access to specific pages or directories for indexing. Indexability. Indexability in SEO refers to how easily search engine can find and include your web pages in their search index. A sitemap.xml file helps search engines discover and prioritize important pages on your site for faster and more efficient indexing. HTTPS HTTPS, which is also called SSL certificate, in SEO refers to secure your website with an SSL certificate, which encrypts data between the user and server. Google consider HTTPS a ranking factor, improving trust and boosting your site's SEO performance. Canonical tags. Canonical tags in SEO are HTML elements used to tell search engine which version of web page is preferred or original one. They help prevent duplicate content issues by consolidating ranking signals on a single URL. Structured data markup. Structured data markup in SEO is a type of code added to your website that helps search engine understand the content better. It enables rich results like star rating, FAQs, and event details to appear on search engine result pages, improving visibility and click-through rates. Now, here the actionable tools are Google Search Console. You can play with this tool as it is self-explanatory and easy to use. Screaming Fog SEO Spy uh, Spider is one of the best tools you can use to scan your website. SEMrush Site Audit, this also provides great results for the performance of your website. Have you ever done a technical SEO audit? Comment below yes or no and we can have a discussion on that. We must have an SEO tool. So Google Search Console, your SEO command center. Google Analytics understand your user behavior. SEMrush uh, gives us a keyword and plus backlinking analysis. Uber Suggest is a budget friendly tool. Screaming Frog is a deep technical tool. Rank Math is basically used for on-page optimization. And WordPress, Answer the Public are these kind of other tools which gives you real user search queries, right? Go try one of these tools today and tell me in comments what insight you find, right? Or what, what did you found in, in these kind of tools? Common SEO challenges and basically are ranking but not getting traffic. Traffic but no conversions, not showing up on Google at all, right? Over optimization, penalties, keywords, cannibalizations. Now, quick fix tip for all these issues is do regular content audits, right? This is all the tools which I've explained. Start using those tools. Track keywords using tools like Google Search Console. Focus on intent based keywords, not just search volume. Which one of these are you facing? Let me know. One actionable step is, if there's one thing you can do today to boost your SEO, it's do a complete audit of one existing blog post of your web page. Apply what you've learned today. Optimize your title, tags, meta description, improve content structure, and add internal link. Just one page, and you'll be surprised at the result. If you found this video valuable, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends, colleagues and clients who needs SEO help. Let's grow together.
Until then, be focused, be consistent, be dedicated and be invincible.